He doesn't know we're coming, does he? No. OK, get out and hang about by your motor. Fetch Dwyer and take these two Sylvie Moons with you. Out. Dwyer, do you want to take a little ride? No, come on, it's nice and warm in the car. Come on. Don't believe this bloody car. I don't know who you slags are, but I don't like it. You're in trouble. My name's Peter Gregg. You know me. Now, listen, my old son. I'm going to talk to you. Did you know Eddie Constantine? I did. Well, we were the team that nailed him to the floor. So what do you want? It's simple. The old Bill are trying to tuck one up on a murder charge. They've got a bona fide witness who wants to stick our name in with the Ville villain who happens to be a mate. Well, then? Well, then what? Feel threatened, do you? Threatened? He doesn't normally. But we're being tucked up by a certain DS who's so mad, I think he's capable of anything. And he happens to be the bona fide witness. So what do you want? The old Bill want to do a trade. That's how you're involved. I'm not involved. Well, he thinks you've got something. Checkbook stubs? Dates, dives, things like that. Something on a ex-bent chief inspector, Marley Harris. Marley Harris? So what's in it for me, son? A nice life. I've got that. Not any longer. Checkbook stubs, dives, dates, tonight and fast. Because if you don't produce them by tonight, I'm going to pull this trigger. How did you know that Dwyer had some evidence of payoffs to this old build? The records show that Dwyer was never picked up for the eight years that Marley Harris was here. Dwyer must have had something on him. You frightened me, son. You come bowling in freelancing with these four spades. I mean, it's like insanity. And I know that kind of insanity can get me tucked up in a murder charge. But that doesn't mean if you ever try anything like this again, I'll have you. Right, I've done your deal for you. Apparently, there are some papers and something. Where do you want to to hand them over and when? The old brewery. The entry of Milsom Street and Warner Street. An hour. I'll tell you, son, I'm not joking. You ever try anything like this again, and I'll have you. Out. The old brewery, Milsom Street, in one hour. You got a fiver for a cab? On your bike.
we'll follow Dwyer? I don't think so. Listen, brother, we're now going to have a little talk with you. Talk, Ned? What about? When you asked us to come and make with the heavy threat of the man tonight, you forgot to give us one vital piece of information. What's that? That your friend here is an enemy of the brothers. That your friend here is a wicked. OK, so he's a pig. <laughs> we needed your help. You're getting paid. And he's a friend of mine. A pig is a friend of yours. Uh, why don't you just take the money and just go? 50, uh, wasn't it? That's not enough now. What do you mean? That was a deal. 50 before and 50 later. Yeah, well, that's all changed now, hasn't it? I mean, we didn't know we was working for the police. <laughs> this has come as a great shock to us. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't you give me all your bread? Do what? Hey, John, do something. Don't do anything. Just give me all your money. Three quid. Next time we rendezvous with you, brother, don't you have any cops with you? Those were friends of mine. Then I wouldn't like to meet your enemies. Hey, you owe me three quid. Well, you owe me two quid. All right, then you owe me a quid. Hello? Is that David Marley Harris? Yes. Detective Sergeant Ho. You know, we met. What do you want? I'm getting a delivery of some antiques. Well, long ago evidence of your dealings, bent dealings. What the hell is this? Are you there? What the hell are you talking about? Lick your pencil. The old brewery, corner of Milson Street and Warner Street. Meet me in an hour and a half. Is that the stuff, Mr. Dwyer? It incriminates Marley Harris, but it doesn't appear to involve me. So don't try me on, son. And stay out of my life. So I got robbed for these bits of paper. You then. can go now, Ezra. You're not even going to thank me for all the help I've given you tonight. No. You sure you can handle this, man? Yeah. I hope he beat you to death. Take care of yourself, yeah? Yeah, see you, man. <laughs> <laughs> 